we've got to move on. Uh, a lot of new small cars have been launched recently, and the producer said that thousands and thousands of people are going to buy them, uh, and that it was our responsibility to test them. Now, frankly, this was a shoulder-sagging moment, really. Not a, not a good prospect. And then I had a brainwave. Instead of, like, us testing them, we'd get them tested by Mrs Hammond, Mrs May and Mrs Clarkson. Our mothers! <laughs> This is Mrs. Hammond. Currently, she drives a Mazda 626, but she once had a Volvo 340, which she describes as lovely. So we can see where her son gets his taste in cars from. This is Mrs. Clarkson. She doesn't care what car she drives, so long as it has an automatic gearbox and classic FM on the stereo. So naturally, she has a Honda Jazz. And finally, this is Mrs. May, who has a Seat Arosa. She's been done for speeding twice, which is two times more than James. So that's the mothers. And these are the cars they'll be testing. The new Renault Modus. Honey, I shrunk the Espas. It's crammed with lots of storage space and versatile seating. Then there's the Space Age Peugeot 1007. This has electronic sliding doors and a pick-and-mix dashboard. And finally, there's the new Honda Jazz. Well, when I say new, it has new headlamps. No real tricks here, but it is a Honda, so it's likely to last even longer than our mothers. Anyway, it's time now to introduce the cars to our mums. I wonder if the they hit each other. And get their expert opinions. One's yellow, what's the other? Blue and a ghastly green. <laughs> Clearly, some blanks need to be filled in. Um, hello, Mums. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? Hello. 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 There they are. But if they're all small cars, <laughs> the viewers, they want to know which is the best car from your point of view. Because right. if it's just us, we'll drive around corners too fast and squeal yep. rubber, and that'll be pointless. Right. Now, they all cost between 11 and 12,000 pounds. They're all small. They've all got 1.4 litre yep. engines, haven't they? All... Is the heater on? The heaters are on. Oh, they're warm. All well, they're all going to have heaters. <laughs> You'd be hard pressed to find yeah. anything. Yeah. If I say I don't like the jazz, will you still speak to me? No. Oh. With the bones of the cars explained, we thought it might be a good idea to crack on with things. Now, time for the first challenge, the living with it test. I've set up all three cars for us, not our mums. What we want to know is how easy or hard it is for them to get settled in and make themselves at home. Yeah. Now, on the signal, the mothers are going to run to the cars, Le Mans style, unlock the doors, get in, they'll have to adjust the seats, adjust the mirrors, change the radio station from KISS FM to Classic FM, and then, unlike any other motor race you've ever seen, the winner is the first one to set off. The conventional Honda should play well here, unlike the more high-tech Frenchies, especially the Peugeot with its electric doors and flappy paddle gearbox. And they're off. No, no, no. no. Mrs Clarkson goes for the Peugeot. Mrs Hammond for the Renault. The must be up. And Mrs. May for the simple as you like Honda. First of all, you've got to get your seat in the comfortable position. I'm not here to help you. I'm here to make sure you don't cheat. Do you like the doors? No. I can't help you. I can only check that you don't cheat, but it is a knob on the right. <laughs> oh, yes, I got it. There you go. Got it. Right, hey. Excellent. What are you fiddling with? Nothing. I was just checking that it was all working. That's it. Oh, heavens. Mrs. May has already got her engine started. You need to press a button that unfolds the mirrors. Do you want to put your specs it's on? Any buttons. Do an engine. Pressing the little button and nothing's happening. Yes! Yes! Let's check that. Yes. I don't know, there's a key. key. No, because it's all over. Am I. No, your, there's your wipers. There's the wipers. That's your indicator on. Yeah, what you're doing there is pressing every button. Until you hear Terry Wogan. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's Radio 1. Oh, foot on the brake. Is that it? Could be. Yes. Ah, you see? For being corrupted. That's no, good. that's yeah, four. This is technically a race. That's too far. It seeks. Yes! yes! Go! Go! Mrs May is underway. Victory! 
<laughs> That's well, an easy... Well, on her. No, 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 it's just that must mean that the yes. Honda Jazz is an easy car to understand. We're good to go. It's amazing, Cole. Clark's is not going anywhere. It's so close! Oh, and it's gone away! It was on the dashboard and it's gone! <laughs> you got it! Ah! That's it. OK, go. Now we move into the flappy paddle gearbox. Put it into auto? Could do. Will it go now? May do. We're moving! We're not. We're, We're not. not. Handbrake's on. Now! So then, a clear victory for the Honda Jazz in the user-friendliness test. And a solid last place for the decidedly unfriendly Peugeot. But what will happen in the next challenge? Right, it's time to test these cars for outright speed. And to do that, we've organised a special Mother's Drag Race. The clear favourite is the Renault Modus. Goes from 0 to 60 in 11 and a half seconds thanks to its 97 brake horsepower engine. Whereas the Peugeot with just 75 brake horsepower and those heavy electric doors is the rank outsider. Santa Pod start that. The lights were green for 15 minutes. Come on, come on. It's 0 to 60 in 18 seconds, the Peugeot. Did the Renault win that? Yes, it did. Pipping the Honda and thrashing the Peugeot. Well, how fast were you going when you went across the line? No idea. I don't want to look at the speed. No, Anyone see a speedometer? No. No. Can we do it again? No. But it's shot. Not really, no. 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 So, one victory each for the Renault and the Honda, and nothing for the Peugeot. But our maternal shootout isn't over yet. <laughs>